Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexis. If this is your first time watching, I'm in the Air Force Reserves as a flight medic, sharing my story, my journey, answering any questions that you may have, and just to be a resource if you're thinking about joining the reserve side and some details about this job specifically. Um, as you guys know or may not know, I am in flight school right now. And if you didn't know, flight school is part of your training. Um, after tech school, you got flight school, you got SEER, you got mission qualification training, all the things. Um, so I'm coming towards the last stretch of all of my stuff, but flight school is a huge part. Um, and so I just wanted to, in this video, share what my first seven days of flight school looks like or what I experienced. If you guys are interested in me doing like a week by week kind of diary synopsis, please let me know in the comments because I'm really not sure if it'll be valuable to you. <laughs> so let me know um, if you'd like that uh, based off of what I'll share in this video. First seven days of flight school. If you didn't know, it's broken up into two parts, right? There's F-N-A-E-T, which stands for Flight Nurse and Aeromedical Evacuation Technician. And then there's A-E-I-Q, okay, which is the second part. But I'm just in the first part for right now. And so I'm going to start from the beginning. First seven days, I arrived here the day before class started on Sunday around 2 p.m., and you know when you first get to base this base is massive if you did not know flight school um takes place at wright patterson air force base and it's a massive base it's split into two areas area a and area b if you came to wright patterson for your phase two you're coming back <laughs> okay so um it's a massive base right so when i first got here i was like how am i going to get around um, all these new people. I didn't come to fight school in my class with anyone from my unit, specifically in my class. Um, some people from my unit uh, came to a class before me and some are coming after, but it's just me for for, for this class. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know who I'm gonna meet. Are these people gonna be weird? <laughs> all right, am I gonna be able to find someone that I vibe with really well? And so, you know, all of the questions, right? And so I'm happy to report first day of class, immediately found someone that I gelled with, and we're like the same person. It's kind of strange, <laughs> but I'm, I am grateful for that. So in a class, I think there's like mm, more than 40 of us, I think, in our class, you will find somebody that you're like cool with. Hopefully it's someone that has a car, because if you didn't come with a car, um, you know, getting around will just be a little bit more interesting. I did not come with a car, but my my girl has a car. <laughs> okay, oh. my friend has a car, so um, that is helpful. So just understand that if there's any fear about meeting people, typically when I come to any training that I have to do, I meet really nice people. Um, the AE community, as as far as it seems so far, everyone is very willing to help, um, to give you a ride, to answer any questions that you may have when it comes to academics um, or patient care or equipment or anything like that. So asking for help is something that you may have to get used to, is something that I have to get used to because I'm a very like independent person. I like to be able to do everything by myself. <laughs> um, but as you know, or you may not know, this job is very team dependent. It's not like you can do everything by yourself or you can even attempt to because it's not gonna work, right? So just get in the habit, asking for help if you need it, um, and people are more than willing. The people at the front desk are super nice, super sweet, so. Within the first seven days of training, my training includes all of the holidays, right? So I'm not gonna be home for any of the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, I'm in training all of them, during all of them, right? So Thanksgiving for me was actually not too bad, my friend, um, her family, she has family here, and so I spent Thanksgiving with them, which was really cool. Um, really great food, really nice people. The day after, though, I was a little emotional. I was a little bit in my feelings. I was. Missed my person, Augustus. He's at home. Um, but he is coming during Christmas, so I'm looking forward to that. We're going to plan the whole thing. Um, so if you ever have training through the holidays, I mean, I feel you. The good thing is, though, there's no travel restriction. You just have to let the cadre know that you're leaving. You have to feel like a travel form, but there's no travel restrictions. So you can fly home, you can drive home. Um, 
and then come back. So yeah, that was my Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving. I might, I might insert like some pictures, a video of me and my girl dancing. Um, but super cool. Uh, overall, I'm grateful that I at least have someone I can feel um, home and warm around, um, even though I'm not around my person, which you know is definitely the <laughs> okay. Um, also, academically, the first seven days, I've taken an exam. I've done a skills verification, guys. Let me tell you something. If you don't know, if it's your first time watching me, if you haven't been here from the beginning and you may not know, I don't do medical stuff on the outside, right? My only medical affiliation is this job in the Air Force, okay? So when they said we had skills verification, this is like on day two, right? Like you have to do Foley insertion, IV, BVM, CPR, like these skills, right? I was like getting nervous because I haven't seen a patient since my phase two and I don't do medical on the outside. So that was interesting. It went very, very well. I had no issues. It's not like EMT skills, right? Where you have to do everything in like 30 seconds. You can talk yourself through. The cadre are really nice. Um, I did very, very well. I was like, Lord, thank you for that because I was a little bit stressed. Also though, um, another kind of, another way to kind of reiterate that asking for help is not a problem. The nurses here, like one of the nurses on my crew, you'll be separated into crews when you sit down in class. She helped me study like the night before, super sweet. And I was like, you know what? Asking for help is not so bad. <laughs> you know, to hear other people's perspectives and to hear people who are actually, you know, working with patients every day. It is helpful so don't be afraid that you might be the only person that doesn't have any medical experience if you don't it's totally fine within my class there's like eight or nine of us who don't do medical on the outside it's just specifically for the Air Force and so that is okay um, if it wasn't okay the reserve side would not have given us the opportunity to have this job um, knowing that not all reservists are medical people on the outside too you know so be at peace with that. Um, but academically, again, so I had the skills verification, I had an exam, and that exam was like one day of, one very long day of lecture, and the next day was the exam. Again, God is real, <laughs> because I passed, <laughs> okay? Um, but in that same day as well, I had the altitude chamber, right? And this experience was so cool. I'll post a picture, Insert a picture of me with all the gear on, right? Um, but it was so cool because with my basic um, experience, with my BMT experience, I didn't do the gas chamber. I didn't do Beast Week. It was just like COVID just took away all the fun, <laughs> right? So I didn't get to do any sort of chamber experience. I did go to Sear though. That was an experience. Very cool. Very strange. Don't want to do it again. But it was awesome. Um, so this one, I was like, yes, okay, let's do it. And so the point of the altitude chamber is to experience hypoxia, right? When your body isn't getting sufficient oxygen. And so very cool experience. Um, and actually, there's, they're doing a study right now. They're conducting a study um, to kind of get results on the body and to see if there's any changes when the body experiences hypoxia in altitude versus on the ground. Um, so I'm going to do it two times. <laughs> I'm gonna do it two times. Um, but the hypoxia experience was very, very cool. My body did some weird things, but you know, I'm fine. Um, so academically, a lot has gone on uh, in seven days. You get a ton of information within the seven days. Oh, this is like my, you guys know, like I'm a flashcard person. I think I showed you guys my deck of flashcards at, at, in one of my videos, but this is my stack so far from the, can you guys see? Okay, yeah. So this is my, um, deck of flashcards so far you know not too thick but it's my study it's my study tactic or technique that helps me right um if you come during the time where it's cold bro bring a jacket it's cold as shit out here okay um it's freezing <laughs> so if you come during the winter time bring winter clothes <laughs> okay bring winter clothes um, I look at my closet and I'm like, dang, I should have brought more sweaters, more sweatpants, um, cause it's freaking cold. Um, but that's academically first seven days. Within the first seven days too, I think it's very important to me if I'm separated from my person, if I'm separated from home, 
to establish a routine that grounds me or to find a happy place, right? And I would encourage you to do so as well. Um, there's like a gym walking distance between um, like right, right Patterson Inns, the Dodge Gym, and they have this beautiful like aerobic studio. And right now I'm in the process of becoming a skate master, like Usher, like roller skates, the quads. Um, and so I found my happy place to be there, to be skating. I skated there um, last week. And I'll insert a little clip because I'm getting better, okay? Um, and so that's my happy place while I'm here. And also just my morning routine of like prayer and listening to worship music because I need Jesus. Okay, during this time, but um, yeah, I think the first seven days have been well so far. If you guys would like to continue to kind of hear how fight school is progressing, if you'd like it week by week, again, put it in the comments to let me know. I want to make sure that I'm continuing to give you guys value, information, um, and clear up any questions that you may have. Um, but like always, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do by clicking the button below. Also give the video a like, sup. All right, we're trying to make this, we're trying to bust this channel up, okay? We're trying to make this channel grow, okay? For it to be fruitful and multiply, <laughs> okay? So please subscribe, give the video a like up. And thanks again for rocking with me from BMT until now. And if this is your first time joining, just go ahead and join the video, all right? But like always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.